Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be reviewing the Pattern Beauty hair products from Tracy Ellis Ross and she is so freaking cool. So I was so honored and surprised when I got this package in the mail because I first of all had no idea they knew my address. <laughs> I don't know how they found that out and I wasn't expecting it so I was super excited and when I saw that she launched it I definitely wanted to give it a try and now I get to so I'm super excited about that. When I got this in the mail I did show you guys it over on my Instagram story. The DM started pouring in on asking for a review and I thought that was such a cool idea. So I'm going to be doing that today. I got the like major kit. So it has the shampoo, I don't know, I'm just gonna say shampoo, conditioner, and the leave-in. I don't know if I point to the right stuff, but it's all in here. They have a spray bottle, a little clampy clamp, a bag with her picture on it, the jojoba oil serum, as well as the brush that I will be using in this video as well. Oh, and the towel that I will be using in this video as well. So I'm gonna be able to review everything for you guys in this video. So yeah, I wanted to do this intro for you guys. I I'm going to be washing my hair later on today and then I will be trying the products. I'm planning to do a wash and go because there isn't like a curling cream per se. So for like a twist out or braid out or stuff like that. So the only product that they have for styling is the leave in conditioner. So I'm going to be using this for that and I'm going to do a wash and go. And I'm going to do the wash and go a bit different than how I normally do my wash and goes. I normally just kind of work the product in. But I made a vow to myself that I was going to try to do my hair a little bit better. Like pay more attention to it not say that it was bad before I don't know if you guys know this but I really care it's like the last thing like I want my makeup to look cute on my outfits to look cute and their hair is way down the list like I don't really fuss too much about it but I want to start putting a little bit more effort in so I'm going to be doing my wash and go where I section small pieces I'm also going to be pairing this leave-in conditioner with the jojoba oil serum so I hope this intro wasn't too too long for you guys keep on watching to see how I like all of the products and yeah I'm excited so this is my second time shampooing and it's a lot more sudsier than the first time so when I rinsed it out the first time it actually it felt soft but it was a little bit squeaky clean and I don't like that personally for it to be super squeaky clean I do like though that it suds really well but I think it took a lot for me to get to this point like I kept having to add more and more shampoo in order for it to get into suds like this even on the second time and I don't know if that's the same thing with you guys, but every time I do my second shampoo, it's a lot more sudsier than my first time shampooing. So I'm going to rinse this out and I will let you guys know if my hair is a lot more drier this second time. Okay, so now I'm about to apply the conditioner and the way the directions say on the back is to apply to wet hair from roots to ends and section with the hair clip. So I've already done that. And so I sectioned this back very messily and now I'm going to apply apply the conditioner <laughs> one thing when i rinsed out the shampoo the second time it definitely was a lot drier so i definitely feel like i need this conditioner now um, not that i wouldn't apply conditioner but i definitely need it so i'm applying it back here first and then i'm gonna section it even smaller and try out this shower brush i think that's what it's called so i'm starting from the ends and i'm going to the roots to evenly apply the conditioner i can feel that this brush is really getting out the tangles and it's not pulling at my hair either so that's a good thing but I feel like this will take me a long time to get through all my hair to be doing these individual sections but it's what the directions say so I'm trying to follow the directions I don't know if I would do this every time <laughs> as far as the smell of the shampoo and the conditioner both of them smell like a eucalyptus spa style to them it's not a strong scent so I'm going to repeat this all over my head it's probably gonna take me a long time and then I will come back to show you guys what I'm looking like before I rinse it out so I finished applying the conditioner to my hair, brushing it through with the shower comb. I'm hoping I'm saying the name of it correctly. And my hair is super like frizzy, I would say, not defined in the front, but a lot of places like down here in the back, it's pretty curly. And I don't know how my hair looks like this. I have not gotten a haircut ever. <laughs> 
<laughs> but it actually looks like it has a shape that's very strange the conditioner is a very thick consistency it's like basically it feels like a cream it looks like a cream feels like a cream it doesn't feel like a you know like a runny conditioner it could be good it could be bad i don't know i'll be able to tell more when i rinse out the conditioner i'm gonna show you guys really quick how much hair came out in the comb so this is how much came out in the comb this is kind of normal like um, shed hair when i use a comb after it's been two weeks it's been two weeks and two days since i washed my hair so i wouldn't say it's too bad i mean kind of normal especially because you lose a lot of hair each day so i wouldn't say it's too bad i feel like using this in conjunction with the conditioner works really well i never have done that before believe it or not and i am natural so you would think that i've done that before but i have not so i thought that was really cool i may decide to add that in my routine it seemed like the conditioner got through to every strand and my hair is detangled now so i don't know we'll see but i do like how the comb did with the conditioner okay so this is the back of my head it actually looks a lot less defined as i thought i feel like it's mostly defined down here but i did apply the conditioner everywhere but i'm thinking like the brush kind of gives the look of frizziness up at the root and then definition towards the ends but that's just with the conditioner so we'll see how it works after i rinse out the conditioner and then start applying the styling products so i'm literally fresh out of the shower i need to put some lip balm on because my lips are super dry according to the directions for the leave-in conditioner i have to apply this to soaking wet conditioned hair and evenly distribute it to all strands and it also says that i can cocktail a few drops of the pattern argan oil hair serum with a leave-in conditioner but i don't have that i have the jojoba oil hair serum so i'm going to mix this in with the leave-in conditioner and hope that i don't get any flakes or anything like that i don't really know how i want to do this how do i want to do this i'm gonna section off a bottom section first okay so i have the clip in my head back here one thing that i did want to point out before i get any further and i forget the towel is an actual towel that she sells it's a pretty decent sized towel i actually thought it was going to be like those turban towels i don't know why i thought that i just assumed it it's smaller than like a big towel that you would dry off with but it's still a good size especially for the head it's like perfect size for the hair i'm going to get started okay so it's like a i don't know how to describe the cream but it's not thick like the conditioner and so now i'm going to add a little bit of the jojoba oil serum and it does have other things in it the ingredient that's the most in here is actually safflower safflower seed oil and then jojoba oil is next apply it to this section i don't really know what i'm supposed to do with this product because i'm not used to doing my wash and goes like this so what i'm gonna do is just kind of finger comb it in and hope that my hair likes it i'm used to just letting my hair curl up how it wants to let me see let, let me think about this for a second so i'm just going to apply it like i said and just kind of finger detangle it through and then move on to another section and then I'm gonna let it air dry. And these products smell really good as well. It smells like a spa, exactly like the shampoo and conditioner smells. They all smell like a spa. I don't know how I feel. I feel like me finger combing it through is kind of making it, making my hair frizzy and not like defined. I'm trying to try something new. And I'm doing messy sections so that my hair kind of flows better. And I'm assuming my hair might curl up like normal as it dries, but I don't know. So I'm gonna keep doing this around my whole head because my camera is about to die and i don't feel like putting in another battery so i'm going to come back when i get it through my whole head so this is my hair i actually don't think it's quite that bad it's definitely a different look and it's not as like shrunken down than it normally is but i feel like as it's going it is getting more and more like shrunken so i'll be able to tell you guys a lot better in the morning which is how i'm going to end this video i'm going to end it in the morning but in the meantime i'm going to do the final step to this which is going to be using the towel so it's supposed to be after conditioning and applying styling products to wet curls you're supposed to squish your hair with this towel and it's going to dry the excess water so that's what i'm going to do as the last step kind of do that all over and i feel like this is also going to prevent flakiness because the hair products are kind of getting dabbed up as i do this and then i'll fluff my hair back out and then i'm gonna let it air dry 
I'm not gonna put any heat to it or anything. I will see you guys in the morning. I feel like I'm in the 70s. Do, do, do. Anyway, I will see you guys in the morning. So it's the next morning. Final thoughts on the hairline. My hair looks really dry. These lights are kind of bouncing off the little shine that you might see from the serum or the leave-in conditioner. But when I don't have these lights on, I mean, you probably can see it through the camera, but I'm just saying if you see any shine, it's really not <laughs> really dry. And it's not only that it just looks dry, my hair also feels dry. Because a lot of times when my hair is moisturized sometimes it can still kind of look a little dry just because i have low luster hair so that's just kind of the life i live but in this case my hair both looks and feels dry what i'm thinking about this collection is i'm not quite sure if it really is for 4c hair or type 4 hair in general i feel like it's more that three type 3 hair texture line because if you look at the products it's really only the only styling product is the leave-in conditioner and if you have type 4 hair you know that most of the time i won't say never but most of the time you can't style your hair with just a leave-in conditioner and be okay especially not as thin as this leave-in conditioner there are some super thick like leave-in conditioners that do do really well as a styling product it's just not as thick as like a cream based product that you put in your hair if you have type 4 hair in order to get definition or even just hydration not even just definition i would feel a lot better about this product if and actually both of these products because i paired them together i would feel a lot better about both of these products if i did get some shine and some hydration but my hair feels super dry as far as the shampoo and conditioner the shampoo and conditioner i don't feel like isn't is super amazing again for my hair type definitely not for everybody but for my specific hair type because i kind of had to use a lot a whole lot of the shampoo in order to get it get my hair clean how I want it and suds up how I want it and I'm not saying the shampoo didn't work I just feel I just like shampoos that get the job done faster because I have a lot of hair and I don't want to be in the shower for like three hours <laughs> you know the conditioner which the conditioner that I have is the heavy conditioner for coolies I felt like this was like super creamy and this probably was a better texture as far as like a styling product even though this is conditioner but i'm just saying i would have liked a cream product that's as thick as this for the styling portion but anyway i feel like the conditioner is very kind of like dupable meaning you can find something very similar to this overall if we have similar hair textures it's not going to give you the hydration that you're looking for however if you have 3a to 4a hair texture i feel like this is a perfect collection perfect line for you so definitely give it a try out if you do have those hair textures Tracy Ellis Ross is super cool and it's just really cool to see somebody that wears their natural hair come out with natural hairlines just because it didn't work for me does not mean that it's terrible products at all it just doesn't work well with my hair texture in the future I hope she expands her line though so that she has maybe like some creams that's like in a jar that you know that we normally use for our hair types so that I can get some really popping twist outs with her hairline i would really like to see that in the future let me know what you guys think about this hairline down in the comments make sure that you subscribe to my channel as well as thumbs up this video before you leave and i promise i'll see you guys next time bye guys